In this video, I'll share with you how I painted this simple background you can use in every painting. This is part 4 of my Autumn 2023 series in which I painted the pumpkin, pine cones, acorns in a realistic style. I used a mix of deep paler green and ultramarine blue, a mix of vanded brown and ultramarine blue, green gray, greenish yellow, a mix of greenish yellow, ultramarine blue, and van dyke brown. I use Mongyo watercolors, but you can use any colors you like. I will start by the bottom of the painting or the table where all the elements rest with my gray mix using ultramarine blue and van dyke brown with a wet on wet technique. Wet on wet is a process of putting wet paint on wet paper. Using a flat brush, I pour wet the bottom part with clean water and I let the paper absorb the water for a minute before adding paint. I carefully brush the areas below the elements and avoid disturbing the finished painting. I make sure the paper was wet the water was absorbed by the paper, no puddles of water, and no dry areas. I used my Princeton Neptune round brush size 8 to paint with water on the small areas very close to the elements. I started painting the bottom part with my gray mix in a tint to coffee consistency and carefully painted around the elements. I added more darker colors in the areas where the shadows of the elements will show. I'm very careful when I start with my finished elements and as much as possible I avoid having watery brush on the areas very close to the elements so I won't ruin them. This is where a brush with a pointed tip is helpful although Princeton Neptune is not as pointy as the silver black velvet but it's fine. I tap my brush on my towel because I remove the excess paint and I soften the edges below each element to make sure the paint won't leave any hard edges. I added the shadows of each element before the paper tried. My paper dries fast when it's hot and sunny, even if I use 100% cotton paper. It's normally humid in Manila, Philippines, so I'm used to it. 100% cotton paper dries longer when it's cold and raining.
This is where I'm trying to balance the time to paint the shadows, trying not to ruin elements, and at the same time avoiding having hard edges. I'm done at the bottom part, now I'm wetting the top portion using the flat brush and letting the paper absorb the water. If you haven't seen the previous parts where I painted the pumpkin, pine cones, and acorns, you can check the description box below. I also avoided the areas where the elements were and I avoided adding water too much near the elements. Then I started dropping colors randomly. I wasn't thinking of any pattern and I wasn't looking at the reference photo because I would like it to be different. While the painting is wet, I splatter some water on the wet areas using my brush to create color flower effect. If you find this video helpful, kindly tap the like button. If you want to see videos like this, consider subscribing and make sure you have the bell notification on so you'll be notified if I upload a new video. I continued adding some colors randomly and splattered some water to create a color flower effect. What happens is when the water drops to the wet areas of my painting, the water drop pushes away the paint. I try to make my painting as clean as possible with no hard edges, especially in the areas of the elements that are dry. As you can see, I was softening the edges where I painted and making sure that the elements were not ruined. The right part of the painting was dry, so I wet the right side with my flat brush before I drop the colors. I was very careful not to ruin the elements and I brushed carefully those areas using the Princeton Neptune size 8 round brush. Even if I added some paint, I still softened the edges.
I tried to make the leads in the background on the reference photo, but I didn't get it exactly as it was. This background painting is simple and it can be used on every painting. Honestly, I enjoyed painting the background because I didn't have to think much. I just wet the paper, drop the colors, and then drop some water to create an effect on the background. It took me an hour and 30 minutes to paint this background. There are times you don't have to think much while painting, just follow the flow on your hand. Remember, painting should help you in taking away the stress and not the other way around. I hope you like this video. Watch these next videos to go to the other parts of this series.